is a story in Luke chapter 13. It's a super chunky little story that shows us what's really important to Jesus. What is the most important thing to Jesus? Turns out it's people. Check this out. Verse 10 through 16 says this. Around this time, he was teaching Jesus in a synagogue on the Sabbath, Ooh, the Jewish day of rest. A woman there had been sick for 18 years. She was weak. She was hunched over and unable to stand up straight. Jesus placed his hands on her, and suddenly she could stand straight again. She started praising God. But the synagogue official was indignant because Jesus had not kept their Sabbath regulations by performing this healing. He said to Jesus, look, there are six other days when it's appropriate to get work done. Come on those days to be healed, not on the Sabbath that Jesus said to, to them, you religious leaders are such hypocrites. Every single one of you unties his ox or his donkey from its manger every single Sabbath day. And then you lead it out to get a drink of water, right? Do you care more about your farm animals than you care about this woman, one of Abraham's daughters, oppressed by Satan for 18 years? Can't we untie her from her impression on the Sabbath? Jesus is all about about helping this woman. He he doesn't care what day it is. He, he is all about setting her free, helping her stand up. And as she stands up, she breaks out of her bondage. As she stands up, she's healed. And the religious leaders are bugged by this because they are the appropriate police. They, they are the ones that go around and whoop, 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 make sure everything's in order, make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing and looking like they're supposed to be looking and making sure everything is appropriate. They are concerned with appearance. Everything has to look right. They are concerned with tradition. We've always done it this way before. This is how we'll we're, it, even if it's dry, that's how we're going to do it. They are concerned with protocol, and they lose sight of what really matters. They choose law over liberty. They choose protocol over people, and Jesus is disgusted. He's disgusted by their attitude towards this hurting woman. Things are horribly out of whack, and Jesus is like, no, no, this this isn't working. We, and we can do the same thing. We get apathetic. We get locked into our routine and it keeps us from the rescue mission. We get locked into tradition. We've always done it this way before. We get locked into appearance. We get locked into appropriate. I hate the word appropriate. And I, I just, just hate when people are, are throwing that around and telling you, you need to do this, you need to do that. You need to appear like this. And it keeps us from completing our mission. It, routine keeps us from rescue a lot of times. And we have a choice to make every day. We can help others find, find the grace to stand or we can put them in their place. We can build others up or we can build ourselves up at their expense. We can help others find a place to stand, find their grace, or we can put them in their place. And we can choose routine or we can choose rescue. Let's lay, just, just lay down our traditions Let's lay down our protocol. Let's lay down what we've always done before and choose rescue over routine. Let's help people stand up. Let's help people break out of, of the past. Let's help people break out of the bondage that they're in. But in order to do that, we're going to have to maybe get a little inappropriate. We're going to have to do things we've never done before. We're going to have to choose rescue over routine. And I think... We're in good company because Jesus chooses people over protocol. Let's do the same thing. God bless you guys. Giddy up.